Hello and welcome to another uh, first round game of the Emba Cup 2. This is Supreme Commander Forge Alliance. In this one we got uh, Armageddon uh, playing a Seraphim. Spanish player, I believe, uh, going first air, and that's not surprising with Seraphim. And air in general on this map. He's taking on Rick, a uh, Brazilian player. So I've been doing really well recently on the ladder. Plays really well with Aeon, so we'll see. Uh, Aeon versus Seraphim, both factions have floating units at Tech 1, so you get pretty interesting early on. Of course, there's still six games left on Pizza in round one. Had a pretty good game between Voodoo and uh, Lucian in the first game. Looks like uh, even though Armageddon goes to the first air factory, he only comes out with an engineer. No bomber yet, so perhaps he's just using the fact that the Seraphim air factory is the fastest at building engineers, so it's slightly faster than uh, land factories. All the land factories are the same, however. So you can see three P gens, four mask extractors from Rick so far here, uh, coming up on minute two. It looks like second land from Armageddon after it gets uh, approximately, it looks like, eight power generators, actually nine power generators. There is a hydro, but it's a little far away. So early on, people, uh, both players not choosing to do any early rating with a Tech 1 bomber. Of course, a great target would be an engineer. It's really far away from uh, the initial position. Looks like some flak now from Rick. He's anticipating bombers, but he's not going to get them. Also, flare. Those are always nice to see. Plus the floating scout from. And looks like he's just going to go over to the neighboring slice prevent perhaps a drop, although a single Aurora probably wouldn't be able to prevent a drop of any kind. And here's the land factory from Armageddon, so air factory plus land, uh, good possibilities for making drops. Probably want a couple more factories, you see another air factory planned for Armageddon. And these engineers from Armageddon, really nice in terms of expansion, is going to get four land factories on each one of these slices. It's definitely going to try to hold on to those. We don't see too many expanding engineers for Rick yet. He's mostly just taking over his own slice. There's some scouts over to the sides. Perhaps he'll use drops in order to get his units across. He's uh, making a transport now, second uh, transport after an interceptor from Rick, and uh, Rick is sending an interceptor over to Armageddon. Uh, here comes a bomber from Armageddon. He's looking to kill any engineers that are expanding to the stop slice. He's going to find some auroras probably take those out. Actually bombers go in both directions. But they will not find an engineer. The interceptor from Rick flies into a, a couple interceptors from Arma and uh, there goes uh, Rick's uh, basically that was his only interceptor. But here comes a drop. It might be spotted by this bomber. It's a nice uh, patrol for that bomber. But this drop might actually slip through undetected. Here's an intercept interceptor as well. And uh, six interceptors now coming in from Armageddon. That should take total control over Rick's base. He is making bombers and interceptors. Has a few flag here. So, uh, actually, you hurt uh, Rick to fly over here, or Armageddon. However, this is a successful drop here from uh, Rick. He's getting onto air turret. He's going to get a factory. And a few interceptors here as well from Rick, but they're not being used. So I saw a bomber there from Rick uh, get taken out. So Armageddon really doing a good job in terms of air, except this one successful drop. See these land factories successful from Armageddon. He's going to take over these bottom slices, no problem. But uh, some radar not taken out. Three kill bomber there from Armageddon. And it'll be very critical for Rick to survive here on this expansion if he has any hope. I see a lot of pressure from uh, Armageddon actually taking a, out a couple engineers. Still no factory. We agree to get that factory done. Looks like actually Armageddon is going to abandon this position. He's going to fly to the other slice where Rick has absolutely no units. Early on, it looks like map control will be in Armageddon's favor as soon as he sends a transport, and the transport's already on the way. So here at minute seven, officially Armageddon has engineers on four of the slices, Rick only on the two slices. See, we might see some Tech 2 from Aeon very quick. Of course, you always have the Mercy threat, excellent gunships, and swift ones. Of course, it's always nice to have T2 transports on this map as well. 
looking at Armageddon, still just Tech 1. But likely, from what we've seen at Pizza lately, uh, gunships are very popular. A bit of an air fight, but total advantage now for Armageddon. This is going to be some bad micro there from Rick. He's trying to turn, but he gave a lot of shots to Armageddon's Air Force and total domination in terms of air by Armageddon. You can see he still only has two factories, but so many engineers around these factories. Of course, in order to support that type of air spam, plenty of power for Armageddon, so a lot of eco going into that. In terms of mask structure, so many more for Armageddon now. You can see that was a successful drop. Actually parking his planes here on Rick's Island. Some bombers coming in from Armageddon. So T2 flag from Aeon will definitely get uh, Rick back into the game, but now he's going T2 air. He's going to try to change things up. But against this type of air force, it's really hard to get it back with just air. You really do need uh, some flak, some T2 flak. And here comes some floating arty from Armageddon. He's being aggressive. He's basically going to spread these all over this slice. Take out a couple of uh, mask extractors. Cause general trouble. And it looks like the ACU for Rick expanding to this slice to try to even up the map control. But huge problems here between these two slices for Rick. Absolutely no air presence. We'll see what happens. And as long as Armageddon doesn't fly over this flak, he really has no problems. So it looks like um, Rick has just taken this factory T2, and as he's making it to using it to make T1 interceptors. So not not the most clear choice. Here comes a Tech 1 drop from Armageddon directly to Rick's starting position. And here at minute 10, this is beginning to look extremely one-sided. Armageddon playing extremely well. Rick here with his ACU thinking about what can possibly be done but he can't do much and this is total devastation he really wishes he had his ACU back at base he's gonna lose his main units his tech 2 factory got some tech 2 mask extractors here as well and actually engineers together with Artie here it's very devastating really the best combination you can have and total air domination as well and bombers excellent attack there from Armageddon on this base and Rick really throws in the towel. He only had another expansion here, which was just a single factory and not much. And Rick, uh, a very decisive victory there from Armageddon. Better luck to Rick in uh, the next game. So hopefully people enjoy this one.